which he shows with pesto. According to Vincenzo, basil is the base of all Italian cooking. Please give him a warm welcome to Vincenzo. Thank you. Don't take my wine away. Okay, um, we're gonna start with the pasta, the orecchiette pasta. Orecchiette is a pasta typical from uh, from Bari, you know, from the south of Italy. It's usually made by hand by the grandmothers, you know. But since I don't have, you know, that much time, so I, I had some another grandmother make it for me. Um, okay, let's get started. Okay, I put some olive oil. Always, I always heat up the pan before I put my ingredients. This is a little too hot. Put some garlic, like half a teaspoon of garlic. A little bit of chopped anchovies. A little bit of red pepper flakes. You know, this depends on your taste, you know, if you want it spicy or not. So this is a question for you. How did you learn to cook Korean cooking? I was born there. Really. You're born there. <laughs> I know, I know that's something I know. I mean, it's something that, you know, so you see you're from it. I actually you know, forget you're from Puglia. Yeah. What is the difference between Puglia and what we Americans call of Puglia? How's that happen? A Puglia is the Latin name for Puglia. Okay. So that's it. That's so it. The most Americans know that if you ever see it in the dictionary, it says of Puglia. Apulia, yeah, that's the Latin name for the. When I was in Italy, though, like, they looked at us and go, where's the A in Apulia? In Puglia? So the G is silent. It's Puglia. Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. that's important for everyone to know. Tell us about your cuisine. Oh, go ahead, keep talking about your, uh, your cooking. Here. Well, you know, we don't want to burn the garlic. Do okay, don't burn the garlic. Why is uh, that? Because yeah. otherwise they give you, you know, garlic uh, bad taste. That's kind then of we, I cook the orecchiette pasta mixed together with, uh, with the rapini in the same water. So it gets, already the pasta gets the flavor of the, of the rapini. Does everyone know you have recipes on the table? Oh, okay, we'll make sure. Any special brand of Oriqueta, or you just use like standard brands? Or? Yeah, the, usually the Barilla makes it really good. Did you like the Barilla? Yeah. Like dollar, dollar a pound. Yeah. Then after I saute them a little bit, I turn the gas off, and I cover them. I cover them for about five minutes before you want to eat, because it gets the flavor all come together, you know? So it kind of steams, you know, the, the heat like this steams the the pasta. So that's it, huh? That's the pasta. Okay, I got <laughs> I got to say, I got to, we, we, we usually go over, with Vincenzo, usually it takes about two minutes per recipe, so you have to start asking questions, okay? <laughs> He's like the Superman of cooking classes, you know what I mean? If we get a Food Network show, it's gonna be a commercial. They want to no, because I believe it. somebody is taking it, they, they know a little bit about cooking, or about right, But we gotta make it hard on you, we can't make it easy. Okay. okay, so, where does your pasta come from? You say, this is box pasta. Yeah, better. You're not going to use fresh pasta. Because to make fresh pasta with this, first of all, there is not many Italian grandmother in the States, you know. So <laughs> you have to go back home. Okay. Actually, my sister was here last year, and you know, she learned how to do it from my mother. So we made for a while. I had she was here for a month, and I had homemade orecchiette on the menu. But you know, she's gone. So okay. <laughs> so it, it's pretty much just as good to use out of the box. Oh yeah, it's excellent. excellent. Yeah, they make very good. Pasta. Questions? Question. Back in the back. What's your opinion on olive oil? What's the uh, secret to the olive oil. The question is, what's the secret of the olive oil? We gotta do that for TV, okay? So, uh, go ahead. Olive oil is gonna be extra virgin olive oil. But the extra virgin is not is good for to use it raw, you know, on top of salad or on top of meat. But for cooking, it's good to use just the plain olive oil, which is the second or third press, you know? You know how it works, the olive oil, the, the way they, yeah. yeah. The first press is the extra virgin. So the first time the olives are pressed, that means extra virgin. And then they press the olive, the same olives, they press it maybe 10 times. And it's always olive oil, but every time is a different lower grade of olive oil. So you want to cook with the medium grade of olive oil because it doesn't have that strong, you know, taste, you know? You know, it's funny that a question over here. Well, I was going to say, I've never I'll get, I'll get over here. Italian I'll get over here. broccoli, the rapini, I guess is what it is. Could you use something else instead? Or? Could you replace the Italian broccoli? You can use a broccoli, you know, like just regular broccoli florets. But rapini, they're very available everywhere right now. 
Yeah, you go to Fresh Field, you oh, go okay. to. They have it. Yeah, they, yeah. And if you don't know what Fresh Fields is, it's Whole Foods, but they changed names. Is that, uh, okay, that's okay. Broccoli Rab. 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 You know, this is like a question. Question. Uh, how do you keep the rapini from getting bitter? Sometimes when we. Good eat question. It, it, um, even if we saute it with garlic and that kind of thing. That's the, the particular taste of the rapini. They had to be a little bit bitter. So know, that's that, that, that the flavor is like that, you know? Okay. Is rapini what we know, uh, cime di rapa? Cime di rapa, sorry. Yeah. All right, wait, for everyone who's not Italian, cime di rapa. Cime di rapa. Cime means uh, the, the hill of the rapa. Okay. So the top, you know? The top, okay. Which, the which actually is this. This is the cima. See the flower, the one that com comes on top of the... That's the good part, yeah. yeah. But also the green, the green is very good as well. But the flavor is in the chima, you know, in the, the, in the, in the actual flower, you know. Actually, I was going to say something. Oh, we have a question, question. If you were going to do store-bought pasta, what brand would you recommend? I usually yeah. use Barilla or De Cech, which are, you know, the best, the two best brands. You know. Interesting, because those are the easiest ones to find, yeah. too, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Because also they keep, after you cook them, they keep, you leave them 10 minutes, they keep the consistency. The other pasta just fall apart, you know. Barilla and the Checo. They're the blue box. When you go to the supermarket, one is dark blue and one is light blue. <laughs> you can't miss it. Now, you generally, generally when you're cooking pasta, don't you use the pasta, the water? You didn't use it for this one, or did you use it for this one? For this, for this particular dish, no, because you want the flavor of the garlic, the anchovies. Okay. You don't want to use water in it. You know? But you ever notice uh, in a lot of Italian cooking, not this recipe, they actually take the pasta water and use it for flavoring. That's a really great thing. What about salt? Would you use regular salt, table salt? Just uh, like sea salt. salt. Sea salt is the best, you know, kosher, the or kosher salt. Kosher salt. Yes. Do you all know the old story? I always repeat this: the story of kosher salt. You don't have to be Jewish to eat kosher salt. It just means it has a bigger flake. That's all it means, and it has no iodine. Okay, because table salt has is iodized, and when you cook with that, you're going to get that iodine flavor. That's why you want to use non-iodized salt or kosher salt. Okay, question. If you're not fond of anchovies. You can leave them out. Oh my god. I, I know, I'm sorry, but <laughs> No, no, you, you can leave them out. Usually, when, when we do this, <laughs> you can either use anchovies, and if you like, you can use also pancetta instead of anchovies. It gives a different flavor to it. You know, it gives a little meaty flavor. You know, you slice pancetta very thin, and you mix it with the garlic, and you cook it a little bit. Can you hear the questions in the back, just in case? You can. Okay.